how does that compare size-wise, like width and height? The other one's four by eight. This is four by six. So it's four actually four by eight, two four by eight. Oh. Is that something that you can change? The other part is just right here. So. Now I would tell you this: when when we have this thing mocked up, this is an internet-based company who gives you these mock-ups real quickly yeah. over the internet. My, okay. My my thing is is that. I'd love to find, I'd love to see something that's easier to change. I think it'd be a lot more valuable to the community. I just think that the size of the sign today in P, it just kind of takes away from the arch or something. I've always just kind of felt that it's just kind of big. And I know it needs to be big in order to have the letters and stuff visible enough. Um, so that's my, you know, really what was driving my questions about the size of it. You know, if, to me, I'd rather not see the Lakeview part, and if we just had the bottom part that had the words and it was big enough to display the appropriate message, then I'd rather see it smaller because I think, like I said, I just think the height of it or width of it or something just kind of takes away from that whole area personally. But that's just my I'm supportive of again on, the on this thing. What this was just a, a yeah. mock up, and we would yeah. use this. When we try to apply for the grant, you know, we'd say we envision doing something like this, but we're not we're not married to the idea about exactly what it has to be. Yeah. Uh, we've also quoted out uh, many options from Rolling Science. And they're the same one, same company who did the one down there at the bike arch, and I got <coughs> different uh, sizes of signs and different price options. Also, looking at the the shades of red versus the full color ones, and but they. They all will be around 20,000. Some of them go up to 30,000 from them if you want high resolution, uh, large sign. But what what was the um, what was the purpose of the color? Like you know, um, what kind of things would the sign have? I mean, just graphics and um, things that complement the message. I'm just trying to envision what the community club is kind of thinking is to what's the value of the color versus the, I guess, non-color? Assuming you get the right si sign, and it's a little higher end stuff, I mean, you can pretty much do photographs type of stuff. Otherwise, they do have um, hundreds of these pre-programmed uh, animations, gotcha. that type of stuff in them. So that would be like, when there's not a message about an upcoming event, there would be some I mean, I'm just saying, okay. I mean, is that, I, I'm just trying to envision what the graphic, what the value of the graphic is, because the real value of it is to communicate something going on, right, or an upcoming event, or, you know, those types of things. So, you know, I'm just, again, trying to balance, the, what is it, $7,000, $8,000, yeah. you know, to have a picture of something, you know, I don't know, a picture yeah. of a pelican right before the pelican, but I don't yeah. know, I'm just, again, I'm just trying to, Use your imagination to win. You should have no trouble. What you would put on this? Right? I know. I again, but you know, I just like uh, you know, the value of the sign to me is to communicate the event and to communicate and change them timely and to show you know the vast amount of things we have going on. The graphical aspect of it, you know, I, I don't want to struggle with that, but you know, if that's what they want to do, right? Yeah, I don't know if there was a whole lot of uh, explanation really given by the community club about why they would like to do things that way other than the uh, the basic thing was well geez if we're going to do this let's take it all the way let's get the best sign we can you know position ourselves as well as we can for for a long time <coughs> you know that was basic, the basic argument I think that was a couple of dollars difference I would say yeah I would, I would agree with that but maybe I'm just struggling to get my arms around you know well, it looks like we wasted the money we put up there because that didn't last very long. Now everybody wants to, nobody can change yet. We just won't have to have it. We need Otherwise. to have something that we can control and update in a timely fashion right. because right. the value of the information is diminished. Yeah. I think we went on the short one. Yeah. 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 This way, you can always put one out by Edwards as the second one someday. <laughs> Scott and I assume the who decides what goes on it is going to remain that way it is now or. I know this wasn't discussed at the community club meeting because it's just right there, but... The same philosophy about it, the non-profit. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think it's a good role. I guess I, I kind of thought... Because here's the thing, is that the city's going to put money into it, now everybody in the town is. So, well, more people should be able to do it. The newspaper might have something to say about what goes on there. Yeah, there you go. I mean, that is a real conflict of interest with the Lincoln Resort. If, if everybody's going to advertise on this thing. Well, I think... Yeah, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. 
Well, and I'm not saying we advertise on it. No, I know. What I'm saying is who gets to decide yeah. what goes up there? we got to come up with some you know, more. So Joe and John's family reunion get to go up there. No. I mean, but I mean, is that going to be a community club decision, a men's club decision, a city decision? I think everybody needs to agree on on whose decision it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we'll come back to here. Because the city hall is always here, the community club is always Yeah, but they're the ones that have really kind of defined the rules for the sign, and I think that the rules. What did we talk about? I just think if we're going to vote on this, we, sh we should know up front that that's probably what it's going to be. Is the same people that are making the decision now get to make the decision with the new sign, no matter who puts money. Because, mm -hmm. um, yeah, if, if there was discussion about using that for commercial use, I think the community club would have concern about that. Yeah. yeah. So the men's club would do it just because it would be like part of their community projects. Yeah, their community they do, projects. So they, they, they had talked to this it, idea but. before about doing some sort of a community sign. Well, and if they could, you know, say the, whatever they do, there's another little postcards and support their meeting, you know, that would, that means to me, I can't imagine putting the Google postcards out all the time, but, you know, the email or having that available to them, I think would be great. Voting it opens up a whole bunch of stuff that we can do that we can't do now.
because they don't want to see all their money go to go to one community. Dear <laughs> man around grass, what's your what's your thoughts? You come here next year, why you just never know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not spending his time looking at the set counting down the grass. <laughs> you know, you never know. <laughs> we, we'll you know, I, we, we would get, we'd get funded for both these grants, but they may reduce the amount of the, of the award. You know, Which would that. really put the community club... That puts the sign project in the bottom. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Wasn't this contingent on getting the award, though? Sure. Yeah. So but if you get the award, and it's only for less, you still are obligated to do it. Right? Sure, I'll be able to do it. But you, you know, with it. I don't know if that was really clarified. Was and, that, but that okay? when, we, when we write the grant, you know, they ask us what, what if you don't get the full amount? And we, we'd say, you know, we'd look at other options yeah. as far as reducing the size of the sign or, the, or look at other, at the red. So how to do the project. But you gotta, right? if you're going to take the money, get the project, sure. But you could turn down the money? You can turn down the money. And then it's well, Lake's had a couple budget. grants here recently that they had to give back, you yeah. know. So I guess the decision is what we like to do or want to do. That's our first decision that we make. Well, did we um, determine the feasibility of half the project? The <clears throat> just briefly talking with Bill about about this and how is the best way to phase that streetscape project. You know, his feeling certainly is that if we want to phase that streetscape project, let's do all of the sidewalks this year and do street lighting next year. You know, not do yeah. sidewalk and street lighting on the north side. And is that because it's easier just to dig the trenches both at the same time for the lights, or I, I guess I don't know what you're Well, part of, part of it's aesthetics because you'd have blue lights on one side and the, and the old lights on the other side. Yeah, they're pretty blocked on the blue side. <laughs> 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 but then if one that would be done, now we're just kind of like, but I mean, the sidewalks would be a big improvement, but it's kind of a little, little bit of a fire. True, but, <laughs> but you would, uh, you know, you'd put in all of the conduit and everything during the sidewalk construction and we'd be prepared to to put the so three lights the in the column. Forty. Looks like we're gonna be borrowing money for it. Forty four thousand dollars. <laughs> that's the case, that's my concern. The sidewalks are still forty four thousand dollars. We'd apply for twenty two, we wouldn't be awarded that much. Mm -hmm. You know, that they've never awarded anything. So what's the thoughts about just pulling off of the street streetscape and from a year from now maybe we can do more than you know, I mean I just like I said if I'm looking at this thing now. And spring's a long way away. Yeah. Well, no. We're not committed to anything on the site though. I don't know, that's my opinion, that's we're spending some cash that we don't have at the present time. At least we got commitments from, you know, we got forty-five hundred dollars in commitment from the community club. I sure would hope the men's club would step up. I don't know why they won, but that's well, I do need to tell you this. Well, unless they have another project lined up. Well, I talked with Jeff Ross, the president, about this, and Jeff, uh, like they said, they they have discussed this before, and and they would like to do a community sign project, and they can be on board. They'd like to be a partner. When I talked with them originally, we were looking at a. $20,000 project and needing to come up with 10 and it, and it was three from the community club for three from the men's club and four thousand from the city. And that, that's how I talked with them originally. Yep, didn't, he saw that as, as really feasible. Now it's changed a little bit and we would ask them for $1,400. Well, that's what we have got to do this grant before the same one, right? Yeah. yeah. We either got to do it's due the tenth. When's the next? Next Thursday. This Thursday. 